as the month of love, February is typically associated with feelings of unity, affection, and happiness. However, in Zimbabwe, this past February was marked by a stark contrast to these sentiments. Instead, it was marred by disunity, hatred, and While cheating. It began with excitement over the release of new and competitive studio albums by musicians, it ultimately ended with a controversial award ceremony that left some celebrating their rewards while others questioned the process. So let's begin with the good news first. Holy Ten, the rising star in the music industry, has once again captured the hearts of his fans with the release of his highly anticipated album, Risky Life. This project not only showcases Holy Ten's exceptional talent and musical prowess, but also features two special collaborations with his wife, Kimberly Richards. The album has taken social media platforms by storm, solidifying Holiton's position as one of the most promising and successful artists of our time. Above that we witness some of the big names in industry blessed with Mercedes-Benz from courtesy of Sir Wicknell as appreciation of their contributions to the ZANU-PF's rally among the artists were Joe Preza, Matthias, DJ Fantan, and Say Colors just to mention the few. A week after Holy Ten released his album Risky Life 2, Michael Marx released his studio album which featured Killer T, Freeman and Shinzo Mon which was compared to Holy Ten's album by many people. Then February blew us with issue of copyrights. Unfortunately, it ended on a sour note with the takedown of Joe Signal's music video, which had accumulated over 6 million views. This news sparked a wild reaction from fans and raised questions. In defense, Fishers of Men, the gospel music family led by Charles Choramba, have said although they found Joe Signal's Chanel song to be blasphemous and morally questionable. They did not initially intend for the song to be pulled from YouTube until the young artist attempted to remix another one of their songs. However, the issue was resolved after Joe Signal apologized. Also, Winky did the dance hall superstar. His videos were taken down by Konoko Music. The artist failed to meet their royalties, in resulting took down two of the treasured songs of Gaffa. Winky D in attempting of receiving yet another copyright he pulled down projects which were produced by Konoko. The recently concluded Normal 23rd Award Ceremony in Zimbabwe has left many people questioning the fairness and validity of the results. One of the biggest controversies of the night was the award for Video of the Year, which was given to the song Damage without a video to its name. This decision has sparked outrage and raised questions about the credibility of the awards. Furthermore, many were disappointed that artist Holy Ten, who had multiple nominations, did not receive a single award despite his outstanding performance last year. Meanwhile, St. Flo and Michael Marx are fighting over podcast interview which was held by Dennis Show. I uh, all right. When it comes to when it, when it comes to like the real music structure, okay, you can't compare me with Michael Max. Michael Max was not happy with Saint Flo remarks, and he threatened Saint Flo to apologize, otherwise he will receive a diss song. I'll be genuine on that one. It seems like Saint Flo didn't apologize, and Michael Marx dropped a diss aim at Saint Flo and Jamal No Limits.
Song reached 1 million views after two weeks and Kimberly Richard claimed that they will end Winky D career as couple. Thank you for your time. Please kindly subscribe to our channel for more content.